Mama speaking. You is looking at our old friend the Kingfish as he's getting ready for another quiet evening at home with his wife Sapphire and her mama. Well, how do you do that? <laughs> That's his favorite smoking jacket he's putting on. And now he's lighting up his first cigar of the evening. There he goes making the final preparation to make sure it'll definitely be a quiet evening. <laughs> Something like the opera with the yelling and the screeching taken out of it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, King, 
Bishop, I don't think this is for me, because I don't like no kind of dancing that ain't got a runway. Yeah, I seen a picture of that ballet, and they had a giant swan in it. Oh, shooting stuff, huh? Oh, no, Andy. I tell you, it was a great deal. Now, the ballet started off with that swan ballet hooing all over the sea. The ballet hooing all around the face. And all at once, she gave a kick. <laughs> and that's to give the thing a bounce. And then while she's having a great time up there, all of a sudden, she doubles up. Uh, must have been a liver attack or something. And then while she's a grunting and a groaning and a hissing and a kicking, she falls down to the floor and conks out. Oh, Andy, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe I could take my gal Susie to this ballet and we could stop up some of this culture together while she's up in the balcony. Uh, how much you want for your ticket, Kingfish? Well, uh, $2.50 a piece, uh, $5. $5? Dollars. Holy smoke, I thought you wanted something like a quarter piece for him. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. But Andy, say, why don't you give these two tickets to stop by and her mama? After all, they've been yelling about not going out. Let them go to the ballet. See, Andy, that's an idea. If they want to go out, here's the answer right here. And you know, a uh, thing like this will not only keep them out of the house, but it'll give my ears a rest for the evening. Hello, Sava. Well, look, honey, I got to thinking about what we were discussing last night, and I done something about it. Now come on out of there, both of you. Detective? 
Are you coming out or do I have to come in there and get you? Listen, we ain't done nothing wrong and we ain't coming out of here. We came down here to see the ballet. Now, if you want to start something, come on. <laughs> All right, ladies. That's how it's got to be. Come on, Harry, let's get him. Very calm about this. 
after all, they no point in me getting all upset just because you're responsible for me and Mama being thrown into jail like a couple of criminals. But when I get out of here, I'm going to think you so you'll never forget it. But honey, I told you the whole thing wasn't my fault. I found a wallet in the street with a ticket in it. I didn't know who they belonged to. There was no name or nothing. Now, honey, that's the truth. Joy, I don't know what the truth is. All I know is you better get us out of here. Sapphire, you know I can't get the thousand dollar bail. All I can do is go and see this man, Mr. Thorndike, but last the water and tell him what happened, then maybe he'll drop the charges. Just get us out of here. I don't care how you do it. All right, honey. I'll do all I can. Now don't worry about a thing. And goodbye, Mama dear. I dare to see you taking this as nice as you is. Come on, Andy. <laughs> Uh, 
Now, don't let him get away. Uh, yes, sir. I know that that $5 bill was counterfeit. 